Ah. Jared Bennett here, and welcome to the second episode of Bullies Breeze. If you haven't seen the first episode, there will be a link below. And my shirt says, I'm here for the food. Um, you know, and I wore a shirt because of the title of the episode, being about food and beverages that are in Belize. And uh, so the beer in Belize, the Belizean beer, it's called Belgian beer, or you can get a Belgian stout. Um, the sodas, the main sodas that they have in Belize are Coke, Sprite, and the different flavored Fontas. And they mostly put the sodas into glass bottles, like the old-fashioned kind of glass bottles. That That's how you mostly buy your sodas there. And the juices there are, they make really fresh juices. Like a lot of people, they'll literally squeeze the juice out of the fruit and then put them in these big bottles and they're so fresh, like they don't add anything, it's so delicious. Um, my favorite fresh juice is actually Cambran juice and they put some stuff in that because it's not naturally drinkable. Well, like you could drink it but it tastes too sour so they add stuff to that. Um, and then that's usually like five Belize. One American dollar is two Belize dollars. And um, then like even their milkshakes are really fresh. Like their banana milkshakes are so delicious and they don't put artificial flavors like they do in places like America. Like it's really, they put the banana and some other stuff to make it sweet, but there's no artificial flavors. It's all natural banana flavor. It's so good. And they do that for all their milkshakes. And um, like for fruit, they have a lot of people that will have fruit stands along the streets and the roads. And um, then there's some fruit in Belize that people don't really eat that much in places like America. Um, like. Um, some fruit that they have in Belize that people eat that you don't usually see in the fruit stands. They have your sea grapes, which a lot of the locals will go out and pick the sea grapes from the tree. They actually do have sea grape trees in America, or places like America, but a lot of people don't know that you can eat them. Um, and then you have your cocoa plum. So, um, people will go out and pick the cocoa plums from the bushes that they're in, or on. And um, then some things that they do have in the stands that are different. They have knip. And they have crabu, um, which are really cool, tasty fruit. Um, and then when it comes to like just like other food, like their main staple is rice and beans. Like with a lot of the dishes, you can either get rice and beans or stew beans with white rice. And um, they also eat a lot of chicken. And my favorite like kind of food is actually a Bolivian dish. It's stew chicken with white rice and stew beans and potato salad. Their potato salad, it's not like the potato salad that you buy at the Publix. It's actually like homemade potato salad and it tastes really good. It's so delicious. And like, it's, it's, it's hard to explain. It tastes so different though. It's so good. And um, But yeah, like they eat a lot of chicken. Like I said, like stew chicken is my favorite uh, food. And it's so good. It's not a soup, but it's like the sauce. It's like reddish, orangish kind of sauce. Um, and they also eat a lot of tortillas with their food, um, either corn or flour tortillas, and they either buy them or they make them homemade themselves. Um, a lot of the cooking that they do, they either do it on a, like a regular stove or they do it off of like a fire heart, which is really cool. Um, and they also have tamales there. They have um, ceviche, like either shrimp or conch ceviche. Um, there's a lot of fishermen there that fish for like different fish and uh, or they just go out and get the conquer lobsters and stuff like that um, so they eat a lot of seafood there and and then they also have uh, this there's these two black colored soups but they're called chamole or relleno um, though I can't really tell you the difference between them but it's the, the way or what's in the soup um, or like the way they're made and stuff like that but there's chamole and there's relleno um, they're really good, and there's also a escabeche, which is a onion soup. It has a lot of onions, and there's chicken in that. There's also chicken in the chamoli and the relleno, and there's your meat pies. I know meat pies sounds really gross to those of you that don't know what they are, but they actually taste really good, and um, they have like a spicy flavor to it, kind of. And they have your coconut tarts, and there's so much other food there as well that you guys would have to like go there and just try for yourself, eat for yourself. They have a lot of Chinese restaurants there. Um, a lot of the 
pe Belizeans like to put hot sauce on their food, and they have a um, like a Belizean brand of hot sauce called Marie Sharp's. Marie Sharp's also puts out jellies and jams as well. And um, for the Belizean words that I'm going to teach you, um, the Belizean Creole words that I'm going to teach you uh, for this video are how to say soda and how to say hot sauce. Um, in Belizean Creole, they, for soda, they say soft drink. Um, so if you want to soda, you can say soft drink. And um, for hot sauce, they say pepper. Like, instead of saying, can I have some hot sauce, you know, you would say, can I have some pepper. Of course, you would say, the can I have it a little differently, the Belizean accent and stuff. But, but they say pepper for hot sauce and, and soft drink for soda. And I'm going to end like this. Yeah.